to to talk about river restoration in Krakow, of course, river restoration, as we probably will learn soon, could have many, many levels. So I've decided to, to have a short, but I hope, you know, <laughs> a crucial um, um, introduction about the water management and river situation in Poland generally in two minutes, and then a short um, um, characteristic of water and wastewater management in Krakow, and then there will be the, the main point, the blue-green network in, in Krakow, there's this you know, river parks, which are quite complex uh, project. I've got also the pleasure to welcome here Monika Wongiewka, uh, who is the representative of um, Krakow uh, Municipal Green Space Authority, who is the main city unit, urban unit, municipality units uh, responsible for, 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 for river uh, parks idea and, and this Wisła Connects program, which we are going to, to present. So um, first, if you don't know where Poland uh, is located, you can see here is the Baltic uh, Sea Basin, but um, uh, you know, in, in so-called Central and Eastern Europe, but uh, the main message on this picture is that we are really poor. Uh, when you talk about water, probably you know that the Polish water resources, available so-called resources, are one of the lowest in Europe. So um, we are really, really, you know, um, um, in a kind of difficult situation. Uh, so uh, and here is also an interesting map. There is a Poland. So on the northern part, there's a Baltic Sea, and on the, the southern part, there's a uh, the Carpathian Mountains. So generally, the down, uh, downhill from the south to north. So all rivers go from, in Poland, most of them goes, go from uh, uh, south to north. But also, it's also very specific that we, as a country, we cover two catchments. So we are quite isolated, not only mentally, <laughs> Very often, Poland, Polish people are, are kind of, you know, um, perceived as a kind of uh, a little bit uh, isolated. But also, the water we are uh, owing, we are managing this two river, Odra on the west side, on the German border, and Wisła, the Polish biggest river, main subject of our today presentation. And here is Krakow um, in the southern part, close to the mountains. Uh, the beautiful uh, royal city uh, of Krakow. I don't want to go into details, but still, please remember, we don't have too much water. Uh, I mean, when you talk about um, uh, uh, quantity, thank you, Johanna, for, uh, for drawing. <laughs> there is somebody on, on my picture. Uh, on the other hand, we don't have too much water. On the other hand, we don't use too much water. So it's a kind of win-win situation, but still we're on the edge. So here you can see that uh, per capita and uh, totally, we don't use as much water as other countries, as other nations. Uh, but still, as I said, there is more and more risk. There would be no water. We, that's enough about quantity. Here's about quality. So um, first of all, we are doing better and better regarding the wastewater treatment. So we've got you know, quite a high quality, modern wastewater treatments in Poland. And most of our wastewater sewage, both um, municipal and industrial, is quite well treated. On the other hand, none, no, not every sewage, not all sewage, goes to the wastewater treatment runs. We've got the problems with the um, connecting people on the countryside. To the, to the central systems. There's a very spread uh, housing. So as you can see here, we've got much more water pipes than wastewater pipes, especially in the countryside. So it means that a lot of wastewater goes uncontrolled, un uncontrolled uh, to, to environment. So here you can see how much, we, or the percentage of uh, uh, urban city citizens connected to wastewater treatment plant is almost 100%. So here is quite good. And on the countryside is better and better, but it's still less than 50%, which means that 
3 million people uh, have no sanitation. So infrastructure is much better than it used to be. And there's a huge development, mainly thanks to the EU uh, funds in Poland. What about the state of Polish environment? Here you can see the water bodies, the rivers, the rivers catchment. So, uh, and there are five classes of five uh, states in the uh, European framework, water framework directive. So you can see here there's a medium situation. Is it difficult to find the top quality water, the blue one, only a few, mainly are in the second, third, um, third fourth, or even five, fifth uh, class. So it's not bad, but it's not perfect. Here's the chemical state, which shows if water, if river is polluted with chemical, with the, with the toxic, with the toxic um, substances. It's again, medium, something is good, something is bad. But overall, the, the picture is quite negative. So if you think about the overall status in Poland, most of the rivers, most of the water bodies, so-called in European or Commission language, fails in fail in uh, in 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 the they are not in a good state which should be. So huge progress, much better than used to be, but still a lot uh, should be done. Let's zoom in to Krakow. And as I said, Krakow is located on Wisła River. is is really connected to Wisła River. It's, it's a main part, a crucial part of the city. It's an old um, um, historical Polish city. It used to be the capital in the good times, the so-called golden times in Poland. Um, and you can see here Wisła, the, the biggest Polish river, and several um, smaller rivers and streams. Generally, this 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 network is very um, uh, very important to the city, and city is somehow uh, you know coexists with the with the uh, with Wisła, and it's really the part of the landscape, the part of the culture, the, the part of our I don't know the municipal system. Um, uh, so it's it's very important. On the other hand, there are a lot of risk. And recent, I mean, historically, 10, 20 years ago, the river was perceived as the source of problems. Recently, there are more and more chances growing up or connected with the river. So there is a the huge touristic uh, area, a lot of uh, restaurants, a lot of uh, parties, a lot of hotels. So um, the city opens to this river. The, accepted in the sense or included Wisła uh, banks especially uh, and the flat plains so to speak into the city so there's a huge change and uh, maybe I will skip the the water and wastewater management in Krakow or talk very briefly generally we use surface water but not Wisła. Wisła is too polluted um, as we could see on the first picture, the, the, the quality of, of rivers is not so bad, so good. Wisła has a special problem with mining water from the Silesia region. It's a huge industrial uh, upstream um, located, uh, the, the huge um, mining areas, and they are deposit, de depositing a lot of uh, salt water into Wisła. So we don't use Wisła for many decades. For, for water uptake, but we are using a lot of smaller river and especially big artificial um, um, reservoir, which was created for this purpose to, sup to supply water to Krakow. We've got the two big, very modern and, and uh, efficient wastewater treatment plants. So I would say the river restoration uh, is going on in this kind of quality, uh, traditionally uh, treated uh, understand. Of course, there are new modern challenges, so to speak. So water quality, wastewater treatment, is something which we solved, even though the results may be not yet can, can be not observed, but it's, it's, it's a going process. But we've got the very several unsolved problems. Stormwater in the city is one of the biggest problems in Krakow. Flood, local floods, flash floods, 
all of these things are really hitting the city and sometimes the paralyzing uh, the, the, the function, the transport, the, you know, the, the create the, the risk for, for people. So um, here we can see the map of Poland with so-called local adaptation, climate adaptation plans. And one of these plans was also created for, for Krakow. Let me go very briefly through the main challenges of the main climate change, uh, you know, uh, risk. So first, of course, is the heat islands and heat waves. City is really dense, populated. So we are not very, we are not doing very well in the special planning. So the city is really cooking, so to speak. I'm sorry for this expression, but it's, it's really boiling uh, in the summertime. There's no ventilation, a lot of concrete surfaces. The second, there is a kind of hierarchy in this local action plan, is the floods from river. Generally, Viswa from time to time flooded. There are huge problems and uh, huge risk for the city. So of course, there's a, a kind of you know traditionally understood uh, floods are a big problem. But the new problem, which I mentioned, is heavy rains and the fact that the whole city is really uh, sealed so there is no infiltration there is no retention so there is a really huge um, risk of flash floods of the heavy rains and um, you can predict the the results of course the big problem in krakow if you if you've been in krakow maybe for some is even the, the top problem is the co air quality there's a huge volume in which krakow is located so there's really difficult ventilation. So we've got the really bad smoke events. And yeah, that's, that's for sure the big thing. And it could be super surprising because it's, it's not very often that you can see uh, snow in Krakow. But if it occurs, it's very often heavy uh, events. And even the bigger problem is going through the zero. So very often there's a cold, very cold night and a very hot day. So we go through the zero several times, a lot of risk. Uh, the surface is distracted, the, the, the pavements, but also you know, a lot of problems with defrosting the, the snowing. So, uh, and of course, weather extremes, you know, all of the consequences. The idea in Krakow, which is interesting for her webinar, the main idea how to solve this problem and which the city of Krakow, the municipality of Krakow is trying to apply is the green, blue-green infrastructure. So there's a huge understanding and a huge awareness among the, the city officials, city authorities, that for most of the climate change uh, challenges, the blue-green infrastructure, nature-based solution, uh, blue-green networks should and could be the answer. So city is really, uh, uh, streaming a lot of budgets and uh, directing a lot of budgets to, 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 to develop the blue-green uh, uh, infrastructure. And the special body, uh, Krakow ZZM, uh, Krakow um, Municipal Green Space Authority was created, which is represented by Monika, as I said, and they are really doing all the things in Krakow, so it's impossible to, to, to name of them, but they are building the pocket parks, they're building the so-called uh, neighborhoods, uh, uh, parks and forests, and many, many others. Uh, um, and I will return to the activity in the, in the last part. Also, the building, the green uh, architecture, so to speak, is another uh, action, another idea. So to connect or in, uh, incorporate NBS into the building uh, matter, into the you know, uh, passive buildings, Etc. Etc. Important thing: water in the city to cool, uh, to cool the the city. You know all kinds of uh, blue green um, infrastructure, parks, fountains, uh, water reservoirs, etc. They are being created uh, in Krakow. Also, the problem which I didn't mention, but maybe you have seen it, is uh, the vulnerable groups, the sensitive groups. Uh, which are children, especially vulnerable for uh, to, to climate change, uh, children and 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 seniors, 
So there are several um, playing grounds or small parks uh, for these groups are created. But also you can see that they are quite modern in the sense there is a, a lot of blue green infrastructure. They are not flat to build it in a kind of you know uh, resilient way, so to speak. But also very useful for this uh, these groups. Transport very important thing. And as I said, the actions uh, uh, you know designed uh, for for the benefits of this you know, sensitive groups. Let's move to the river pass because I've got limited time. There's a very nice idea, which is also supported by the, the, the this last um, actions, especially by ZZM actions. But the, the idea itself was developed in 1990s. So there is a there is a concept to build a blue green network in the whole city to provide the crucial ecosystem services to citizens, all kinds of um, uh, um, services. Of course, in the beginning, it was more about the relax, about the recreation. Now there's more and more focus on stormwater manage, uh, uh, retention and other, uh, you know, regulating, so to speak, ecosystem services. So the idea is on one hand quite simple, is to build the green areas, to develop green areas, to protect green areas, which are connected to river network. Of course, it's quite complex, quite difficult, because there is a huge pressure, investment pressure on this area, because they are very beautiful, very attractive for housing and for other investments. So there's a still struggling between the public, so to speak, interest and the private benefits, private, uh, you know, uh, uh, housing developers uh, income. So there's a huge, huge, a lot of, on several levels, we are trying to protect this this uh, this this uh, this area is another special planning challenges and many other financial challenges so of course you can understand that it's not easy but city is trying to uh, to build uh, the system to incorporate it into the special planning um, uh, system so uh, they are doing a lot probably is the uh, story for another chance but very important when we talk about interlace project is also the fact that these river parks are connected to the bigger European level ecological corridor. And as you know, Krakow Metropolia, which are the ring of 15 municipalities around and including Krakow. So what we are trying to do in, during the interlace is to really uh, maybe multiply or adapt the solution which are used in Krakow into also in the neighbor, neighborhood, neighbors, neighbor municipalities also, you know, to take into account the, the bigger the bigger picture. Um, of course, there are a lot of analysis assessments, you know, was the, was the anthropo pressure, was the connectivity in the system, and um, there are a lot of GIS uh, assessments. So um, generally, as I said, the struggling uh, is, is, is in the place. But what I wanted to say now is that uh, ZZM, uh, this Krakow municipality body, is trying to do a little bit different thing, is trying to protect these river parks by its better usage, so to speak, a kind of stewardship idea. So let's show these areas attractive for people attractive for, I don't know, alternative transport, for, for biking, for, for, for skating, for walking, for uh, nature observation. And when people use it, it would be much difficult to, you know, to, 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 to destroy or to, to you know, to, 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 to sell uh, this, the piece of this river park. So uh, ZZM uh, created this, uh, uh, Visua Connect idea to make it make them more available, but still protect with the you know protecting di diversity, biodiversity, protecting the the value of ecosystem, trying to balance the usage uh, in the proper way with the with the ecological value. Of course, 
we need also to adapt these plants, the investment plants, to the character of the places because they are very different rivers. So here you can see quite a urbanized area on the on the on the river bark, but still here you can in, introduce some nature-based solution to, to make a better water retention. You can see so it's not just to run off to the river, but you can stop water for a while. You can create a very nice. A little bit, you know, um, uh, water-based ecosystem or, or habitat. So he, here's a very good example that you can connect the housing uh, with uh, housing development with the with the uh, with this idea which I which I mentioned. Of course, some riv some river parks are much more wider, so to speak, much wider. Tomas? Yeah. I just wanted to let you know that um, the time, unfortunately, is running. So I would just ask. We have a little bit of time for the questions Two minutes, later. Okay. Yes, super. Thank, Thank you, you so great. much. Uh, yeah, so here is the Isua Connex. So uh, probably I, I mentioned, you know, the most important thing. But here you can see, you know, the assessments of the connectivity. Oh, here you can see the transition, which is planned. So uh, when we are going to use some um, path, so to speak. There are like a per permeable materials with water retention, with water infiltration, with uh, some zones for, for animals. Uh, of course, there are so far there are um, visualization and animation, but you can see the, the points. And also, of course, um, in this one, boulevards, which we saw on the first pictures, the character is completely different, so you cannot renaturalize it, the, in this area, but still you can do it in a much more, um, so to speak, um, natural way, um, using some NBS and to transform this asphalt uh, hat areas into something much more, uh, you know, permeable, breathable, and better uh, ventilated. So, um, so even in this place, which are quite uh, historically and uh, most uh, used, you can try and there is a plan actually also to re uh, renovate, restore the the, the Viswa Boulevard. Uh, okay, so here you can see that the places which are considered or in which these actions are going to be to be done. Uh, the decision about starting this Visua Connect um, uh, project was uh, made in 2017, and cities has delegated um, uh, budgets to, for planning idea, for planning phases, um, and also for investments. Uh, you need to divide by about five to get sums in euros. So five million zlotys is uh, about more than a million euros. So in my opinion, it's quite a big, important uh, project. And maybe we will leave uh, the details for, for the discussion. You can see the, the main rivers, the main places. As I said, some of them are quite um, well um, uh, green and white. And that's all from my side. I don't know if you have time for Monica to, to give a few comments or we will move it to the, the discussion part. It's up to you, Svenja. Yeah. 